Hi, Bob. This seems to be an accommodating thing that it's a great day, and I'm hoping you're feeling better, and I'm thankful you are alive, and I hope you like the results tonight. Um, so, tonight, where's this guy in New York who ate 200 211 chicken wings in one year before 2012. There was a dare by his friend and she ordered the ate it. He did it and this year instead of doing two, 212 wings before 2013 he's traveling all 50 states to eat chicken wings. Like my mom said, everybody needs a hobby. In New Zealand, there's a Bamu milky snail. Now that species is the largest snails they have. We have. And they said it should be as big as size of a wrist or a human's wrist for an average human, wherever an average human is. Size wrist. And then, in Australia, there's people who celebrate the first year, the first day of summer, doing surfing in neon lights. They put on their body suits and boards. Now, I'm not really sure how that works out, but apparently it does when they surf in dark. And that's all the eight two five eight facts I have. So that's it. So yeah, we do it for the um third fight my school today at one two one. And very awkward because they were right behind me. And I didn't know it was behind me until so I thought I was really staring at my direction. I turned around and I was just like, oh, white. So I, <laughs> I kind of ran and hide behind my friend. And it was, really, it was just awkward because I never knew what it was about. I probably would never know. None of my business. And but it was just weird because everybody clapped. Just like, yeah. Very awkward. And it was funny because my friend my friend kind of, my friend Jasmine is always a blonde. And it was funny because my friend was in London. And so <laughs> my friend decided to squirt orange juice on Jackson. And she just told the valves that I got it right in her eye. It was, it was just, it was pretty playful. <laughs> she and her just laughing. Of course she's alright. She's not that highly rich. She's not highly religious. But she was allergic. I thought it was just pretty funny. How just her face is pretty spicy when she was talking. <laughs> Today I am proud to say that I extract DNA from a fish sperm. Yes, I did. I, what I did, I abstracted it, and I grabbed a stir, and I twisted the DNA into a little ball, and I put it in, and some HCTA, I think, and I put it in ice, and it's in the refrigerator at school, and I get to use it later on, I don't know what I'm using it, I hope I don't kill my DNA, but, um, it was very interesting. And my friend touched it and everything.
in my case, I thought it was pretty cool, you know, the whole my dad being here. Of course, I did have my own DNA, but I have. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of awkward, but like I said, yeah, you call me side eye or something is wrong. People, you can say I have your extra DNA. They would grow my intestines wherever I move in the future and then take out whatever the cancer was destroyed and replace it by my own DNA, my own system. The same thing, but only slightly different. <laughs> you know, they're changing now how you look at DNA. They say um, you can rearrange the whole DNA system in 48 hours. The whole whole body of mapping the DNA system, the whole thing, would take 48 hours. But people who were thinking it's impossible and the government thought it would only be 15 years, 15 years and 45 hours are major different. Huge. Well, that's all I gotta say for tonight. Gotta go off. And remember, you are chat me away. And I hope you feel well. I hope everything is better. I hope you feel better. I hope everything's alright. I love you. You are chat me away, Bob. Bye.